Hello, ladies and germs, and welcome back to the Brock Rock server as the sun rises on a brand new. Ah! Well, that was a good start to the intro. <laughs> right, you can go away as well because I'm not dealing with you. So, I am currently over at the. What will be eventually a witch farm. Well, I do hope. The issue that I'm having is getting witches spawning. But again, that might just be down to um, the density check. But if I am stood in the middle here from all sides is the spawnable area that anything can spawn in. The density check is where if you've left those chunks and there are mobs still loaded in them. Um, as you can tell, it shouldn't be any mobs loaded in any of them because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so that's eight surface spawns. So uh, I've got more than eight surface spawns actually because these guys haven't, but they're classed as hostile mobs. Anyway, uh, today's episode is going to be me finishing off this giant circle. Uh, and then putting in the pumpkins for it so that it's all nicely lit up so that only slimes will spawn and probably digging the area out. Uh, I am also going to talk to you about the month of September because uh, things are going to be backdated uh, and this is only due to I am getting married and also uh, we are then going on honeymoon, and we are not back until after the end of September. I will try to reply to any comments as and when if I can in the meantime, but if I don't get your comment, I will in October. So anyway, without further ado, I think it's time that we run time lapse. Okay, so uh, at this point in time, I am actually a happily married man. Uh, no thanks to a editing error, this episode is actually going up a bit later than it is. Uh, by the time you guys see it, I am going to have been married for two days, exactly 48 hours. Uh, probably actually even longer than that by then. Anyway, so the day went out with that uh, hitch, me and my wife got married at our local registry office and um, of course like you have to do your interviews and everything well let me actually start you off at how the day went like I got up I had to get my nephew up everything was going absolutely fine until I've got to get my son my two page boys and myself ready now the page boys are teenagers and when it comes to teenagers and technology, they don't know how to get off the technology. So for 20 minutes I'm saying, get ready lads, get ready lads. And remember, I'm trying to get my son ready who has disability, so that's a little bit difficult. Um, and either way, after about 20 minutes, my mother walks in the room as I'm like, God, if you don't get changed now, I'm going to lose my temper. My, my mom's like, just take five. Calm down. Like, and I, uh, by this point, I have not been nervous or worried or any of that at all to do with this wedding because I was like, I'm going to be at the end of that altar and I am marrying this woman. Like, I got excited the day before. Anyway, I digress slightly. So, we're, there are me, my two page boys, my son, my mom, and my dad all in a premiere in trying to get ready the sweat by this point is pouring off me and we got a taxi coming at quarter past three I need to be at the registry office for half three because they need to interview me and to make sure that there is all the legal stuff is all right and all that stuff so that kind of that, like we got there at, anyway on time we actually got there earlier than we expected the wedding actually going on as we turned up, which I looked really confused when I walked up. So, 
either way, uh, I have my interview and I go into a room. And of course, the guests start coming in, and like I'm still, I'm still not nervous. I'm excited. I'm very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think what the word is. It's like really, like oh my god, god like I'm. Um, I wouldn't say excited, but I just like I just can't wait. I'm like oh, I can't wait to see her in this dress. I've heard so much about this dress, but I still have not seen this dress. I can't know. So anyway, four o'clock rolls round. Five past four rolls round. I'm thinking. Now come on, there's fashion going to be late. We're at a registry office and they close at half four. I'm like, come on. So anyway, quarter past four comes, and uh, my page boy brings my son in, and then. My sister was uh, my wife's bridesmaid, so she came in, and then my bride and her mother walks in. Her mother, of course, giving her a whack. And I am not kidding. My jaw hit the floor. I was like, wow. And like, for anybody, any blokes that have been married, you know exactly what I'm on about. Like, the registrar actually said to me, do you want to look around? I was like, nah, nah, nah. They're like, it's worth it, trust me. So I turned around and my jaw just bounced off the floor. I'm pretty sure there's a hole in the ceiling where it rebounded. Anyway. <laughs> um, she comes walking towards me with, um, I think it's a thousand years, the song A Thousand Years. Um, unfortunately, I can't play it due to copyright. Um... So she stood next to me, and I can see in her face, like, she is trying so hard not to cry with tears of joy. And, like, she didn't see it, but at the time, like, even I had to look away and, like, flutter the eyelids as blokes do, just to, like, cover up the fact of that you're, you're crying. <laughs> and anyway, the ceremony goes on, and the registrar does her bit. Um, and at one point, I actually messed up. And like, how hard is it to repeat something back to someone? It's not that hard, is it? Yeah, I'm the only idiot on the planet that seemed to mess that one up. But anyway, we did the. Uh, I solemnly, I solemnly swear, but I'm up to no good. No. Um, <laughs> to take this woman to be my wife to. I can't even remember it. Like, the day is actually still a blur to me. Um, but it goes so fast, actually, on the day. So, anyway, we ended up married. We did the whole signing of the register and had our photos taken. And we have a wander outside. We have our amazing photographer, um, Little Munchkins. I will actually put a link to his website uh, in now. So that anybody in England, if you have any weddings coming up, please go and hit this guy up. He's amazing. He's not just a photographer that stands there and bosses you about. He has a full-blown conversation with you. For God's sake, the bridal party got hungry. He said, oh, I fancy a burger. Anybody else want one? And he actually went to McDonald's and got the bridal party food. I like, paid for it as well. Like, how many photographers do you know that do that? The guy has been amazing. So, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, yeah, so we had our photos and stuff framed at uh, local room. Beautiful. We couldn't have asked for better weather, to be honest. Like, we've been watching it for the last month, the weather for the Saturday. And some days it was saying it was going to rain and other days it's saying it wasn't going to rain and other days it said it was going to be cold and then finally uh friday comes we're getting married on the saturday and it's saying that there's a small chance of rain but it's going to be nice and of course on the saturday i wake up and it's raining and i'm like oh no either way it was a short shower and we didn't see it again all day. Right, the sun. I wouldn't have said it was 
warm because anybody that was in a dress was a bit cold. Um, I was okay, my bride was okay, so like we were happily taking photos. A few of them had to go, some of the older people had to go over to the venue, which we had at our local, well, the local like pub hotel. It's also like, one of the most haunted places in England, so if anybody wants to try and figure that one out, you can let me know. Uh, and we get there and we are the first people no matter how many guests are there we are the first ones to go and look in the room and oh my god it was beautiful now this wedding has been two years in the planning and i did not think at all that the color schemes were going to come together it's one of those things that you plan and plan and plan and you're just like i cannot see this happening in my head it's gonna look mix matched it's gonna look awful i walked into that room and i was like This is amazing. Um, I will be inserting photos of the room. Uh, there won't be any faces or anything like that in it. Um, but yeah, we had balloon arches. One side green and purple, the other one red and black. Um, we had table runners. Uh, these alternated between green and red. We had bows on the back of the chairs, chair covers course uh, mr. and mrs. on the table uh, I love uh, the words love the letters love even and my bro my bride slash now wife did this for for us and it worked out amazingly to be honest like the people you actually came up to us during the reception afterwards saying who did the love letters they're amazing and she did like they thought they were done professionally because people kept asking how much did they cost you and we went nothing she did it and they were like no way like my my partner is so good at like arts and crafts stuff um and she's just oh, what can i say about that the girl's amazing i couldn't have, i couldn't have married a goddess if i had tried put it that way um, so yeah, uh, we start off with our speeches and my nephew basically decides to spend the entire time taking the mick out of me. Now remember my nephew is my best man. <clears throat> and then he goes on to mother of the bride and then to me. Now, my dear sister, I sent my speech to her and my sister rewrote it so it could make sense. And, yeah, it didn't really make that much sense. She messed up one line, but fair play to her. Um, it was all right, and by this point, we've toasted. I've already had one pint by this point. And then it was a case of just chill and talk. Start mingling with the family. And of course, not just mingling with the family, also um, like getting to see some of the people that I haven't seen in years. Um, it started to get to the time that we wanted the food bringing out. Uh, so food comes out, and of course, my whole fa family are foodies. So that was immediately like gone. People were fighting. Like my mom, bless her. People are already up, and she literally just walks over and goes, Mother of the groom, get out of my way! <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That type of mother I have. It's like, my food. <laughs> um, we had our first dance, which just at the end of the dance, then... They brought my son over so he could dance with us, which was amazing. Like, if I hadn't have had my son there, there wouldn't have been a wedding. Because I wanted him there so badly. Do you know I mean? Anybody that's got kids would understand that you want your kids at your wedding. 
It's a big, big, big part of your life, and they're a huge part of it, so you want them to be there every special little occasion, but I'm getting sidetracked here slightly. We then uh, cut the cake, and we didn't do the whole cut the cake and then shove a piece of cake down the other one's throat as much as my missus wanted to. I don't blame her though, because a dress costs something like over a thousand pounds. That's with alterations as well. So you can imagine. Getting cake down that thing was definitely not a plan. And uh, unfortunately by about 8 o'clock my son had to go home. So my mum takes my son home. And then by this point I've probably got to my 7th pint. My partner hasn't even started drinking yet. She said she didn't want to drink until my son was gone. Um, but, to, but to say that um, I had my seventh point by that point, I was still pretty sober. <laughs> uh, photographer had then set up uh, the photo booth. And of course, everybody is in and out of the photo booth pulling some <laughs> amazing shots. Like, it was brilliant. Um... And I'm getting dragged left and right to get in the photo booth, and I'm just like, I need five, let's go outside and chill. But at the same time, while we're there, there is also a Peaky's Blinder effect, Peaky Blinders event going on nearby, so of course they're also staying here. So like, it was really, you've got a Harley and Joker wedding going on in one room, and then you walk into the other room, and it's like you just, you just descended into 1960. You're like, whoa. Uh... Where's the time machine? I want to go back. <laughs> but all in all, the day went off without a, a single hitch. Um, admittedly, people started, I'm not going to say dying off, but like having to go home because my lot had come from... Uh, way, a lot of my lot have come from Wales to the wedding, so it's pretty far for them. So they've had to go. Some of them stayed actually in our hotel. Um, it was just a case of dancing the night away. Um, my bride did actually get me for an hour dancing on the dance floor with her. But unfortunately I kept stepping on her dress. So that didn't very last very long because I was like, I'm going to I'm going to break her neck in a minute. Any minute now, I'm going to tread on that dress and she's going to go flying. <laughs> so has anybody got a camera? But no. She looked stunning. From the moment she walked into that register office to the moment we got into the hotel room. All day. And she's just amazing, full stop. I, I don't know what I'd do without her. I love her to pieces. She's my world and she's my rock. And there is not anything on this planet that I could do or give her that would come close to how much I love this woman. And this is going to be a bit of advice to anybody that's watching this that's like oh wow this sounds amazing if you find that right person don't muck about you want to marry that person marry them don't muck about get it done quickly because I know friends that have been deeply in love with somebody as much as I am with my partner and they just didn't pop the question they just didn't go that far and they've lost them and it's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to have that one that for all your faults will still stand by you thick or thin. But I do believe that I'm running out of time. Uh, I will check how long I've been going for and I'll be back with you with probably another little message. Okay, so yes, that was my wonderful wedding, my Joker and Harley themed wedding. 
like I said, I am now happily married, and I would definitely suggest to anybody that you should definitely do it. Um, but I am now completely changing subject because uh, while I've been talking, all the footage that you have been watching uh, was thanks to uh, the Bro Crockers. Without them, we wouldn't have got even the smallest dent done into this project. Um, the idea is is that I'm going to dig down to bedrock and then I'm going to install some very big farms into it. And this is again above below even my witch farm which at the minute doesn't work but that's due to um the game's having to check for mobs in the area and the density check and blah 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 and yeah it's just got it just goes into absolute insanity to the things that have to be done now a lot of people even the broke rocker said why don't you just go 55 blocks up in the air because that will unload all the chunks and I was like, well, it's not a bad idea. But the game will still do a nine chunk area. And that's four chunks in either direction. I mean, it gets so complicated and strange. Um, I, I do hope that uh, come September the 28th, now I am on honeymoon from... From the 16th for exactly seven days so uh, there won't be anything off me at all but hopefully on the 28th on uh, minecon live and when minecraft earth uh, gets released uh, i'm going to try and live stream that off my phone but we'll have to see how that goes uh, depending on how much data i use while i'm away as well I'm probably going to be taking a lot of videos on holiday. But anyway, ladies and germs, uh, I am now 100% running out of time. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it there. But I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you have, hit that like button. If you've really enjoyed it, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you've really, 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 really enjoyed it, then hit the bell notification so you know next time I upload. Um, I will just mention I will be getting an actual desktop PC very soon. Uh, there'll be more details on that when I know more. But I pretty much know the spec now anyway. So keep your eye out for that. I might do an unboxing of it if you guys let me know in the comments. But anyway, that is all I have for today. My name's Vinjoka, and I will see you in a mini money home. Oh, Ta-ta for now.